Hi, welcome to another Onshape video tutorial. The second of the how you could do it or how you should do it videos. I will show you how you could do this or maybe better how you should do this. So let's have fun. So we will start with a sketch on that plane and first I show you how you shouldn't do it but how you could do it. So let's go for a rectangle. This would be one, no, it's 60 by 40. Now you could constrain it like this with the midpoint constraint and it's okay. Now let's draw something like this. This should be horizontal. Yeah, this should be horizontal. It's already horizontal. Now first I could trim of course. So let's trim this. Again, that's the way you shouldn't do it. I cannot do all wrongs in one video, even if I try, it's almost not possible, but there are already some. Now to get this sort of centered, mm -hmm. yeah, I'd like to do with a midpoint constraint. To get it here, I would have to do a construction line, and uh, I don't want this, so I will do it maybe like this. So that would be 20. Okay, leave that sketch and make an extrude, make it symmetric and 40. So let's take a look if I change this one, yeah, maybe to 60, yeah, this will go up. That's sort of nice if it's wanted, but you should do it in a different way. So I will undo this. Okay. Now I want to show you how you should really do it. Let's delete this and go for a new sketch. I will start with a rectangle. Always put it without constraints. Oh, sorry wrong key that would be one no sorry that's 60 I'm still on the last model and that would be 40 and always make sure you do the dimension and constraints inside your profile and only with the last one or two constraints or dimension position it to the origin. Again, that's stable, of course, it's, it's a rectangle. And I want to use that midpoint, that's very convenient, and put it right there. It's fully constrained, and you should always have fully constrained, constrained sketches. Okay, make an extrude, make it symmetric. 40 and select that sketch and confirm. Now 
you should always make different sketches for sketches which create material and sketches which remove material. This should be done with separate sketches. And you should always do your sketches because you need another sketch on a plane, not on a face or a surface. It's not always possible to avoid a face or surface. In some cases you need to do it on a surface or face. But in this case you should use a plane. So go for a sketch on that plane. And I will draw it over here. That's one way to avoid snapping onto something. Okay, this should be horizontal and that should be horizontal. Okay, I will go for the midpoint. I usually don't use symmetry. Yeah, because for symmetry I need a symmetry line and sometimes this causes problems. So the midpoint would be here, another midpoint would be there, and now I could align those midpoints vertical and it's symmetric. Now make the dimensions. In this case, I dimension two points. Usually, you should dimension the lines, not the boundary representations, and that would be the end and start point of a line. So this should be 30 and this should be 20. In this case I have to align, so it seems this went wrong. Let's try once again. Now it's okay. Now this should have a dimension from that line to that point. Make sure you don't click on the edge. Okay. So that's the point. This would be 40. Now I will align vertical that point with this point. Okay, I forgot to do the 20 millimeters, so I just pull this down and make that from this line to that line and make it 20. So now these two sketches are not depending one on another. So they're totally independent from one another. That's the point. So now let's do an extrude, remove, make it symmetric and make it 40 and select that sketch and OK. Now if you want this cut to move with that edge. So if this block gets higher, this should move with the block. You could do it, or maybe you should do it, with a variable. Take care in Onship, you have to declare that variable before you do the other stuff. So I will go back, declare a variable, and that would be a length, and the name would be block height. And the value should be always the value which the model has at the moment. And that would be 40. So if you put your variable or parameter into your model, you insert it, and your model doesn't change, that's a good sign. If it changes, you made definitely something wrong. So the first occurrence of that dimension would be in sketch 1. Go to sketch 1, go to 40, and replace that dimension, the value, with the variable. That would be, in Onship you have to write that hashtag, and then the name, and that would be block Now you got the 40, but it's now controlled by this variable. Leave that sketch, go to the second sketch, and there's another 40. Change this one again to 
hashtag block hate and confirm. So now this variable controls the block and that cut. So if you change this one to 60, both should move up. And I will change it back to 40. So this would be one way you should do it. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more of this, how you could do it and how you should do it videos, give it a like, leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page and please like it. Would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.